Hey guys, Father Brad here, and this is the second long-awaited Stump a Priest episode. And remember, um, I got these questions from high school students, and they send them in, and I just answer the questions. I don't even think about them beforehand, so I'm just answering the questions. I kind of have them uh, grouped together. So, uh, number one, question number one today. If you could write a Ten Commandments for priests when it comes to free time at the and their social life, what would they consist of? I'm not gonna do 10 commandments because that would be way too long. I'm gonna do three commandments. Number one, prepare beforehand. I know that kind of sounds weird, but um, if you have a day off, if you have um, a vacation that you're preparing or, or, or you're going on, um, it's best to kind of have a plan. Um, so don't just wake up as a priest, or I don't like to just wake up and be like, hey, it's my day off. What do I do? No, I gotta have a plan. So like an example, this last day off, the last Friday, Friday's my day off, um, I went over to visit my good friends, Kim and Jamie Anson, and their three awesome little children. And we hung out, we went and said, I said mass at Our Lady of Wisdom on UL's campus, and it was intentional, okay? That's number one. Number two, don't take a vacation from your vocation. What do I mean by that? Even if you're on vacation, you're still a priest, right? So it um, doesn't mean you have to you know, wear your clerics all the time or, or be actively like seeking out people to convert, like running down the beach like, hey, you! You know, that would be kind of weird. But you're, you're never not a priest, right? It's who you are. Here's an example or, or an analogy. If you are a married person and you go on a let's say a guy's trip or a girl's trip, let's say you're a girl and you go on a, a girl's vacation without your husband, hey, guess what? You're still married, right? Um, and so you act like it. You purport yourself in a way that um, is befitting a married person, and the same goes for the priesthood. And the third commandment, what's the third commandment? I didn't think about it. Third commandment, don't be slothful. Um, meaning, so recreation, the word recreation, right? If you have a day off, if you have a vacation, it should be recreative, right? It recreates you. You're not just lying around. You're not vegging out. I don't like to veg out on my day off. I like to do things that will recreate me, uh, feed me spiritually or physically, um, something like that. So next question, do you ever go on vacation? Yeah, I do it all the time. Last year, about this time, I was um, doing a tour with some friends from Washington State all the way down to San Diego. We rode the coast. We flew a little bit in between because it's really far, um, but we rode the coast. We went to mission churches. We uh, did a retreat with Benedictine nuns on an island. We uh, Live, we stayed at a vineyard and fixed vines and took tours and wineries. It was really cool. Got to stay at Ignatius Press. Shout out all you fine people at Ignatius Press. Number three, is there a specific name for all the black outfit and white collar that a priest has to wear? So this is called clerics. So another term for a priest or a deacon, someone who's in a religious, who has holy orders, is a cleric. And that goes back to um, back in the day. Um, but these that distinguish that you have holy orders, the clothes, it's not called a uniform. It's not called an outfit. <laughs> I hear that often. People are like, hey, that's a nice outfit. <laughs> I guess it is an outfit. But um, the, ter the actual term is called clerics. Number four, do all priests wear the same black outfit and does it vary based on status in the church? In general, the everyday wear will be the same. Um, whether you're a priest, uh, an associate pastor, right? You're not in charge of a church. You're kind of a, an assistant like myself, or you are a pastor, even a bishop. They're wearing clerics most of the time. Now, a bishop might be distinguished by having a pectoral cross, right? A cross that hangs at his chest, and you see bishops wear that. Sometimes they actually put it in their pocket, and they have a jacket on, so... I mean, it's an old tradition. I don't exactly know why, but you see a chain hanging right there. Now, if, you, if you're going to go to fancy clerics or fancy uh, attire, um, you, might be, you might see a bishop in a certain color and a cardinal, let's say, in red, right? He might have a red zacchetto and a red piping on his cassock. Um, but everyday wear, they usually look like this.
Number five, do priests have to wear the priest outfit, as we know it's called clerics now, all the time, or can they wear normal civilian clothing? I've said this before, but I treat this situation um, with another analogy or, or a guiding principle. These clerics I treat like my wedding ring, an external symbol of an internal reality, right? Something people see that tells them a commitment that I have, just like a wedding ring. Married man has a wedding ring on, people see and recognize, hey, he's married, uh, he's taken, he's got a commitment to a person. And so I treat my clerics the same way. If a guy's going to work out, if he's going swimming, if he's at the beach, if he's going to a football game and, or, or it's doing some kind of a manual labor, he might take off his wedding ring. Not because he's not wanting to be recognized as married, just because practically it doesn't work in that situation. The same goes for clerics. Like if I'm working out, if I'm going swimming, things like that. If I'm going somewhere and I don't wear it in order that I'm not recognized, that's where the problem is. And the same goes for a married man. And the last question, if a priest goes swimming, do they have to stay fully clothed or can they wear a normal swimsuit like a normal person? <laughs> like a normal person. I like that. Thank you. I'm not very normal. Um, no one's really normal. A priest is held to the same standards of modesty as anyone else. So that means especially a secular priest or a, a diocesan priest, a priest that's just at the parish, if he, he's going swimming, yeah, he... He wears the same type of clothing um, as long as it's modest as anyone else would wear. The beach, same thing. Everyone's held to the same standard. And that's it. We got, we're gonna have some uh, more Stump of Priest questions coming soon, but until then, God bless. Oh, by the way, I'm growing out my hair, maybe getting a priest bun. That's why I have this. Uh, this is part of my clerics. I don't know what you think. Unless you don't like it, then don't tell me what you think.